Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, servlet request attribute listener uh, demo. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, servlet request attribute listener introduction video tutorial. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Uh, now I will open Eclipse and I will show you the code. Uh, to explain uh, servlet request attribute listener, I have created the project called uh, servlet request attribute listener demo. Uh, so in that project in web.xml, I have configured uh, uh, the servlet called uh, servlet request attribute uh, test servlet and the URL pattern is uh, listener test. Okay. And I have configured uh, one listener here. You can see uh, my servlet uh, request attribute listener. That is a listener class I have configured in web.xml. Uh, first I will open the servlet class uh, uh, servlet request attribute test servlet. So servlet request uh, attribute test servlet uh, which extends HTTP servlet and it has uh, init method. Uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to initialize this uh, servlet and uh, it has uh, do get method. So this method will be called by the servlet container to uh, process the request and uh, it has uh, destroy method. This destroy method will be called by the servlet container to uh, remove this servlet from the service. Okay. Uh, in do get method what I am doing is uh, in the request scope uh, I am setting the attribute company name as Wipro and after a certain sleep uh, I am setting the attribute company name as uh, Infosys basically uh, it is replacing the company name Wipro to Infosys okay and uh, after a certain sleep I am removing the attribute company name okay and uh, in web.xml I configured uh, the listener right my servlet uh, request attribute listener so you will see that so this is the listener uh, which implements uh, servlet request attribute listener and uh, uh, this listener class uh, override uh, three methods um, attribute added, attribute removed and uh, attribute replaced and uh, uh, this method uh, uh, receive the servlet request uh, attribute event okay so when uh, attribute is uh, added in the request scope attribute added method will be called when attribute is uh, removed from the servlet uh, request scope, this attribute removed method will be called. And when attribute is replaced, uh, attribute replaced method will be called in this uh, listener uh, object. Okay. So here, uh, what I am doing is uh, I am receiving that uh, servlet request attribute event. I am getting the name and value, and I am displaying in each method. Okay. You can see here. Okay. Uh, suppose if you want to perform uh, any operation, if uh, certain attribute is added in the request scope, then uh, you can perform uh, in this attribute added method. Okay. Suppose if you want to perform any operation, if uh, certain attribute is uh, removed from the request scope, then you can perform in this uh, attribute uh, removed method. And uh, suppose if you want to perform any operation, uh, if any attribute is replaced, then you can uh, do it in the attribute replaced method. Okay. Uh, I will uh, deploy this application in Tomcat server and I will show you the output. Project, uh, build project, file, export, and export as a var file. And I am placing inside the Tomcat web apps folder. Finish. Going to start the server. Uh, server has been uh, started. Uh, now I am going to access the web application using this uh, URL. I am clicking on enter. Uh, it is displaying index.html content. Uh, index.html is nothing but a welcome page and it has only one hyperlink. So when you click on that link, uh, it will send the request to the server and the URL pattern is uh, listener test. Okay. Uh, so when the request uh, go to the server, uh, server will forward the request to the servlet container. Servlet container will check uh, the URL pattern listener test in the web.xml or not. Uh, so it is there in the web.xml listener test. Uh, so the servlet container will initialize this uh, servlet request attribute uh, test servlet. And then it will call the uh, do get method. So here what we are doing is... Uh, uh, we are adding attribute and uh, replacing the attribute and removing the attribute uh, in the servlet uh, request, right? 
so whenever attribute is added or removed or replaced uh, this uh, listener uh, methods will be uh, uh, called okay and uh, i will show you that uh, output okay i'm clicking on uh, listener text so you can see uh, the attribute uh, is added and uh, newly added attribute name is company name Wipro next uh, the attribute is replaced uh, uh, next uh, attribute uh, name uh, company name is uh, removed okay so you can see this three okay Uh, so whenever uh, the attribute is added or removed or uh, replaced in the request scope uh, uh, the particular uh, listener will be notified and uh, this is about uh, servlet request attribute listener demo and thanks for watching bye